This is a 3D printed pressure tank. Okay, it's just a model I print for the thumbnail, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your 3D prints gas tight so they can hold a pressure up to eight bars and potentially higher. And I will show you where the structural limits of these pressure tanks are. This project began when I needed a very special propane tank for a project which I'm building on my German channel right now. First, I wanted to sort it out of copper and brass, but this would be too heavy and I needed a special shape. And um, I had lighter laying around on my desk and then I thought, hey, this tank, this pressure tank is made out of plastic. Maybe I can just print the tank. As many of you might know, 3D prints are normally not even watertight, uh, leave alone gas tight. But I saw a video on the YouTube channel CPS Drone and they managed to get uh, 3D prints watertight up to a pressure of 8 bar. But as you might know, watertight does not uh, mean gas tight. And because of that, I wanted to try the same method they used to create a gas pressure vessel. Making your 3D prints watertight and potentially gas tight is not that hard as you might think. And I'm going to use the same product CPS drone used on their video. And that's the most German product ever, which is called Dichtol. In Germany, it's pronounced Dichtol, but this is an English speaking video, so I will pronounce it Dictol. Dictol works in a very simple way. It's just a liquid which penetrates the small gaps in your 3D print and then fills them up with some kind of plastic or solvent, or I don't know. And um, to use it is very simple. I bought it in a spray can, so I just have to spray my, uh, my 3D prints and keep them wet for like three minutes. Otherwise, the Dictol can't penetrate the 3D print. Guys, I'm not making this up, it's really the process. And after five minutes, you wipe it off and then your 3D prints should be water and potentially gas tight. To test it out, I printed a very small pressure vessel with a valve on top to fill it up and a screw on the bottom, which I can unscrew after like five minutes or so to see if there's still gas in the pressure vessel. To pressurize the tank, I just used normal lighter gas and then I let the small tank sit for 15 minutes and after that I checked if there's still gas in there. Oha! Diavolo! Da kam richtig was raus! So my experiment was definitely a success because of my upcoming project I don't need uh, the tank to hold the gas longer than 10 minutes. But I thought where are the limits of this process? So I, I wanted to check how long can a 3D printed tank hold the gas and how strong are 3D printed tanks. So I printed four other tanks, three runs to check the structural limits of the 3D prints, one with three millimeter wall thickness, one with two millimeter wall thickness, and one with one millimeter wall thickness. And I printed another tank um, with uh, three millimeter wall thickness to check if the gas uh, will stay there in there for over 24 hours, uh, where I'm going to uh, do a long time waiting test. I just had an idea. Um, if I put the thing on the water, I will see if there are small bubbles coming out, so I don't even have to do uh, the long time test. So that's what you're going to do now. I've applied Dictol uh, from the inside only. I hope this is enough. Yeah. Can definitely hear something is in there. Hope you can hear it too. Okay. Then I have a glass of water right here and then I will put it in there and maybe, hopefully, no bubbles uh, will come out. Oh, okay, I can see bubbles. It's not completely um, gas tight right now. Interestingly, it's only on one side, so only on, uh, on the side where uh, the 24 hour uh, logo, I would say logo, uh, is printed on. Uh, the gas is escaping on the other side, um, there's nothing. I will try to apply another coat of Dictol uh, to the part to get it completely um, completely sealed and then I will do this test again. As you might know, this pressure experiment is not that scientific because if you have a bigger tank, uh, the tension in the material gets bigger so you have to have thicker wall thickness. But I think it's interesting even though it's not that scientific. Let's hopefully 
explode some tanks. Uh, so we're in my garden right now and I've taken all the safety precautions, uh, meaning I got a, a very long hose to the pressure tank and we are going to test it first with the uh, three millimeter one, then we're moving to the two millimeter and then to the one millimeter wall thickness. And um, we will see if uh, something will explode or not. And I will go to my safe position and pressurize it now. Here I have my propane tank. And now turn it, open it up. Okay, I, I hear the gas flowing. Okay, this is not very tight, but it's not, not, not a problem. Okay. Okay, I think it was fully pressurized, but um, I'd say nothing to, nothing to see. Okay, and so nothing happened, so three millimeter thickness is definitely enough. Let's move to the two millimeter one. Two Okay, this is definitely even not tight, but no worries. Okay, two millimeters looks uh, totally fine. Let's switch to one millimeter. This is gonna be the weak point, the, the thread in here, but let's see. <laughs> Pressurizing one millimeter thickness. I'm scared. I don't think that's gonna hold. Come on. Crazy. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Here's one. Here's one. Uh, one part. <laughs> and there there's the other the other half <laughs> okay so uh good learning uh two millimeters okay but one millimeter thickness is definitely not enough uh, to hold um eight bars of pressure so like 160 psi so let's see how the 24 hour experiment uh, has turned out now i reapplied the dick toll and refilled it with gas and like waited i think uh, 10 hours, uh, I filled it up this morning and now it's afternoon and I can still hear there's still some, some propane in there. I don't know if you can hear it. And I'm going to do the bubble check again. You see these bubbles and when I, when I wipe them off, they grow back. So there's still a small, a very small leak, but I think you just have to apply the dick towel longer so it will seal it completely then you should be all set but for me that's definitely good enough if you like the video and find it informative then please consider subscribing because actually zero percent of you watching are subscribed because it's my first video and see you guys at the next one bye oh yeah so liquid propane guys <laughs>